right, everybody, I'm kind of here just to give y'all a short and sweet review for DC's League of Super Pets. I watched it Saturday night, just not making a review, obviously, but just figured I'd just give you my thoughts on it. It's my overall, when people ask me how it was, this is what I said. It was dumb, but it was really funny. It was obviously a kid's movie. But the thing that makes it dumb is that the Justice League is crap because they can't do crap. But thank God they have dogs because <laughs> if those dogs and pigs and turtles and squirrels, and I'm forgetting something, hamsters, guinea pigs, if they weren't there, the Justice League would be toast. Also, if they weren't there, I don't know if they would've got put in the predicament they got put in though, to be fair. I laughed a lot though. I laughed out loud. Honestly, I love The Rock. I love Kevin Hart. I love their chemistry. But to be honest, I feel like they work better in chemistry when they're there together physically. And it's like, I just kind of don't know if they were right for these two roles, which they're fine. It's totally fine. Like I enjoyed it. I'm just wondering if like, if they weren't Kevin Hart and The Rock, I don't know. It just seemed kind of weird. And maybe they were in the recording booth together, but to me their chemistry just didn't click this time around. But there's tons of Easter eggs in it. Uh, the post credit scene is wild and just also dumb to me. I don't know if it's actually setting up a sequel. I think if, it, if that is setting up the sequel, I think that makes it dumber. Uh, because just because what it's set up and just like how many and I'm gonna put it, the voice acting in the post credit scene is just kind of dumb. Uh, I don't wanna spoil it for anyone. The Rock has actually already posted pictures of the post credit scene, and I've seen a lot of people get mad about it, so I'm gonna stay away from saying spoilers unless I give you a warning. But my favorite part about the whole movie was Keanu Reeves' as Batman. And I remember I called that when I saw that he was in the cast list. I said, I bet he's gonna be Batman, I bet he's gonna be Batman. They finally announced him. My problem with Keanu Reeves' Batman is not even Keanu Reeves' fault. It's the marketer's fault for putting most of his scenes in that trailer. It's like, he's not in the movie that much. So a lot of his jokes would've been really good if we hadn't already heard them. But you gotta sell tickets, I get it. Yeah. I would like to see more of this world, just this goofy-ish, dumb version of the DC Universe of these, is, <laughs> where the Justice League is pretty much useless because of their animals. I think it'd be funny. Like, there's just so much more you could be able to tell, because you can give any superhero a wacky animal and a celebrity voice and make something, a movie out of it, for sure. So. It's one of those things, if I rec am I going to recommend it to you? Uh, I feel like I'd have to know you, to be honest. As for me, I, I didn't, I was never bored. And I was thoroughly enjoyed the whole time. Out of five stars, I give it like a good, I give it a three and a half. I enjoyed it. So, let me know what y'all thought about the movie. If you've seen it in the comment section below, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.